What is going on everyone? DJs here with another Advanced Wars by Web replay analysis. This match right here, it's a continuation of the Discord 11 Cup. DC 11 baby! 128 players entered. Now only 8 remain. I just squeaked past Radio Alcaro man in that one map, map Minas Tirith. Now we're on to the Elite 8. And there's only hard people left. There's Dead FS. There's Toulouse, there's Go7, there's Random Ways, there's Rhymer, there's a lot of big threats. And there's Soth. And in my way, currently, before I get to that sweet, uh, the final four, I need to get my way past Soth. And if you guys know Soth, he's a very strong player, a very consistent player. You have Tordred, me, and Starflash, yeah, sometimes we play great, sometimes we play bad. Soth is a consistently good player. If I just go into this without preparation, without planning, without move planner, I'm gonna get myself wiped. No questions asked. This Soth is a player you need to respect before you play. Same with Dead FS, same with everyone who's, you know, remaining, to be perfectly honest. You can't go into this without preparation and theory. So, this map right here, locked and loaded, never really seen before. Fresh new map, you have, uh, you start off with a missiles of all things, double airport locking your opponent. And you also have two APCs surrounding an infantry, preventing the infantry from capping this third base over here. Now you can try to bust through, slowly chip away one, two damage each turn till you cap that, but chances are you're gonna get an infantry over here to kill you off, or a recon over here to kill you off, before you can even capture that. So this infantry is essentially pretty useless. Now meanwhile, you have the middle over here, the center is quite contested. None of these things are, are give me's or freebies. Even this over here, Blue can take control of that. The center is very important. There is eight properties in the center. So the center, you cannot forgo. You don't want to go too hard up over here. You want to control the center. And another thing, you have this pipe seam over here. So once you get the base, this should go under Blue's control. Blue can break through that and put some pressure over here. Or you can combine the two bases, one going here, one going here, into a little attack over here and see you can control of these two properties. Also, you want to get a copter. So... The thing is, you can get an artillery, put as your blue, put an artillery here to force this off to go over here, allowing that airport, going over here, allowing that airport. Or you can be baboony, you can build two copters at the same time, let him shoot down one, and then the other one attacks the missiles. But basically, once you put an artillery here, that is going to have to allow one of the airports to produce a copter. So, put an artillery here from this base, it only takes one turn. Not too hard to get the uh, missiles off there, so the airport lock won't last very long. Now you may notice, you can also put an artillery over here. If you're blue, you want to put an artillery over here. Maybe even stop them from capping that base. Very hard to do. Now, so this map is not seen before, and therefore, me and Soth didn't start our game until a little bit later. Let me give you guys some background. So before Soth and I played this match right here, two of our good friends, experts, started the match of their own. So right here we have Dead FS and random ways. Dead FS, 1500, a 1550 player. No arguments, he's better than me in standard. Random ways, pretty equal level with me in standard. They're in the Elite Eight. They're great players. Let's see what they do to start off. I watched their game and I'm sure Soth watched part of their game. So we have pretty standard stuff. He attacks the APC over there, tries to get out. And uh, so the APC moves over here. Doesn't, doesn't attack over there. You have some typical stuff. Okay, now attacks the APC. Infantry moving around, attacking APCs. Pretty. I noticed a few things. He moved his, his, his APC over here, so it looks like the infantry down there is not a threat at all to capture. Uh, generally, built an artillery over here on day four, looking to lock. But you look over here, attacks that, attacks that. Both infantry are finished off. Both infantry are capping. This is going to cap before the artillery gets there. This is going to cap before the artillery gets there. And uh, they built, it doesn't even build anything over here. I would build infantry just to like take the hits, taking hits, taking hits, taking hits. Anyway, as you can see, pretty interesting stuff. But I noticed something that uh, struck me. Let's see if you guys can notice too. So, um, the very beginning, attacks one of the APCs. And as we know, we saw an artillery here day four and it wasn't enough it was just barely too late one turn earlier it would have been able to stop that so you need a day three artillery right how are you going to get a day three artillery 
You're gonna have to base skip. You could build it. So this is day three. You, you can't afford an artillery day three. It's, I don't, uh, random ways has, uh, sorry. Day two, not day three. 4K, you, it's impossible. But I noticed something. And everyone's like, oh, random ways did FS, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. There's no way they don't know what they're doing. And I'm sure Mr. Soth thought the same thing. So now let's go into our game. Back to Soth and me. And you also notice I picked Jake and you picked Adder. I did some research into this. I played some practice games on this map. I was well prepared for this game. I know what I'm up against and I'm not gonna be taken advantage of like that. I'm not gonna be careless. I'm going to go into this well prepared with a plan. So without further ado, let's start the game and you'll notice something a little different. So I allowed Soth to be player one. I was the higher seed. I'm the seed three out of 128, only behind Tordred and Go7. Three out of 128, Soth was seed six, seven out of 128. And uh, he just moves his APCs back and uh, blocks that, captures my thing, attacks my APCs. Moves his missiles over there for some reason. And here's the part where I said, <laughs> I prepared. You see, I practice this map. My good friend, Mr. Green Suit. He's a great uh, friend of mine and he helps out with a lot of theory crafting. And I said, I'm not gonna get an artillery over here at day three in time to stop that. I got a better idea. So what I did, put my APC here. And I combined my APC. No one did that. Dead FS didn't notice it. Go7 didn't notice it. Toulouse didn't notice it. Random Ways didn't notice it. I noticed it. Mr. Green Suit noticed it. And I have a day one artillery coming for that base. That's right. I did my research. When Deep says his research, didn't attack that. If I attack that, he would combine. I'm perfectly content just chilling over there. You know when I start looking at my microphone over here? Shit's getting real. She gets real. He was sweating. I guarantee you Soth is sweating at this point. I have a day two artillery. There is no way he's getting that base. There is no way he's getting that base. Meanwhile, oh, I'm gonna get my base. So this he's panicking a bit. His, his missiles, you know, he's, he's a bit worried. Slowly but surely my artillery comes through. I'm a little slower on the caps over here because I had to get a day one artillery. So I'm a bit limited over here. He's gonna be in the middle earlier. However, eh, not a big thing. I got his recon over here. Another thing, dead FS, random ways. They never got a recon. Why would he get a recon? Well, two things. Get over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can attack the infantry in two days. Why would I build an infantry and use the APC to transport it over there? No, no, I need the APC to block. I'd rather use a recon. Just because someone who's 1550 did something doesn't mean it's necessarily the best thing to do. So, so sweating. At this point, I don't wanna lie. I got a little cocky. I was like, I, I, I've won this game. How is he gonna beat me? He builds his own artillery. I assume to either force me off here or to force me off down here. And my recon's coming in. My infantry are coming in. I'm going for the middle. Let's build my first tank. So the tank is coming to the center. Sith comes in with his infantry, coming down. Moves over to the airport. I'm not even capping the airport. Like I said, because I built the recon, because I built the artillery, I'm a bit slowed down capturing this port airport. I'm a bit slowed down capturing that airport. So my airport's not in the near future. Then I bring my beep beepers in. Beep beep, two turns. This infantry goes here, caps or walks into the APC. I have a whole thing planned for that APC. Tank comes to the I'm threatening this APC over here. I mean, you can combine them now, but it's day five. It's day five, that APC isn't gonna be doing as much uh, work with the join. It's only at four HP. It's not at nine HP like mine was. And he doesn't have a tank over here. He actually builds an artillery. He notices late. He went with the old day five artillery. Now that just doesn't cut it anymore. I was well prepared for that. There is no way he will be able to stop me. I'm going to capture that whether he likes it or not. And he's got to devote an artillery and a tank to stop me from capping it myself. This artillery over here is forced to go over there. I'm going to get middle control. He tries to save his infantry, no luck. 
I'm in the center first. He has the airport first. I use my boosties to get that, and I'm gonna build another infantry, and I'm gonna also transport that. Easy base, it's mine. Start my tank chain. Attack his artillery, because it's, you know, it's right there. He's gonna have to move it, then attack with the infantry, and it's gonna delay his infantry attacking another turn. So like I said, his artillery is way late. Way, way, way late. And so far, the Adder and Jake equation hasn't really come into it yet, but you'll see why that was also a pick. I picked Jake after thinking about this for a while. It wasn't a simple pick, picking Jake. I My default pick is Jake, but Adder seems good because there's two airports, right? Yeah, once you kill that, you get two airports. Mechs could be good because there's APCs. You know, Adder just seems like a good pick, right? I'll show you why Jake's good. Builds his first tank in the middle, but I have middle control right now. I am, he hasn't even captured this property. I have captured that property. So I bring my infantry back. I dare him to attack. I will destroy him with my artillery. As you can see, the way I'm talking, I'm feeling cocky right now. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm reliving the moments of the match. The thing you need to know about me though, the thing you probably already know about me, I'm best when I'm an underdog. And I was the overdog here and I prepared and I felt cocky. I said, oh, I got this game one. He's not gonna get this base. I'm gonna have three base versus two base. I'm gonna have control of the middle. He's gotta dedicate all this stuff to stop me down here. This game's pretty much one. Dangerous. Dangerous for Deej. Bad for Deej. You don't want that. You don't want that. Put my tank over here. I have middle superiority. Like what is he gonna do? Put his tank on the city? Like he can't capture that. He can't capture any of the properties in the middle. I'm gonna capture all the properties in the middle. I got a tank chain going on. He has to force two artilleries down here just to get that poor base. I already got it turns ago. Easy peasy. Not a thing, but a chicken wang. Brings his, that infantry ain't doing shit. That's another free hit for my infantry on his artillery. He's just letting me hit the artillery for some reason. Finally capturing the airport. Get my booster runies. My recon's coming into play. I'm capturing the middle. Not really having any trouble with that. I have tank superiority. I got a tank chain going on over here. They got coverage of everything. I plop it on the city because you can only attack from one part. You can attack from the forest here, but I'm denying this at least. So I figured, hey, in the long term, it's gonna be an unfavorable engagement for me because he's gonna get a first strike. However, I'm gonna have a tank chain and I'll be on the city. So I actually attack his infantry rather than capping because if I cap, he damage it with his infantry anyway. So I figured I might as well slow him down. So if he gets getting uh, a little antsy over here, he attacks. So I decide, hey, an artillery what has nine shots. I'm just gonna keep building infantry for 10 turns and then I'm gonna get whatever I want. Or I can bring an artillery over here then use my Jake power and attack it without him being able to attack back. So I said, you know what? I don't care, I'm just gonna keep building infantry. He gets his uh, artillery's in position, but he's got, he got artillery, artillery, and a tank all devoted to get that. Whereas all my units are devoted to the center. The center will be mine. I have a strong ass center. He's dabbling. I'm stabbling, he's dabbling. I'm stab, stab, stabbling in the center. He doesn't even opt to attack. That's how strong my center presence is. And here comes the income lead. Boom, 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 boom. With Jake, I force this off. I'm gonna be building copters, it's day nine. Feeling pretty good so far. Beep, beep, I come with my recon in. I'm not afraid at all. I'm pretty like reckless at this point. Go beep, beep, boom, beep, beep, boom. I start attacking infantry just to force him not to be able to cap anything. I wanna enforce that. I want to get a nice income advantage. 5k income advantage, 6k. I want a huge income advantage because he has all these forces over here. I need to seize the moment. I need to be capturing all the shit before these things finish their job over here and then move over here. I have a short window to work with. So I have to work quickly. So I bring my tank in the middle. This should not be a two hit KO. As we said, a tank, tank, tank attacking with only a comp tower like a 30% chance to uh, two hit KO, so I'm not really worried at all. He has to move his missiles down, so now I can build a copter over here next turn. Strategically, build a copter, start attacking, and then I can start building from both airports without a care in the world. So we bring, so we try, he tries to do the overload. He does two artillery and a capture, and he's gonna bring that down as well. Or not even. Okay, I guess he's not. So, okay, so here's some bullshit. He actually gets the two hit KO. Lord have mercy on my soul. And he's gonna get a hit off from this tank. So instead of me having one HP here, attacking, killing that, killing that, 
with these two tanks, securing the middle and basically just winning, he has a hope. And I was pissed. Man, I hate that bullshit sometimes. I hate that bullshit. And now, he's, he's sitting pretty. He's got four tanks, and I only have three. One is completely weakened. So, that was a really unfortunate roll. Just bad luck. There's nothing else to say other than bad luck. My, my, it didn't even attack anything. That tank didn't even attack an infantry. It was sitting straight on there. It didn't even attack. Uh, so, just, just a bad roll. But, you know what? I still feel it good. Uh, he has to devote this over here. I can kill that artillery or weaken the other one. Honestly, I should kill the 8 HP one, but I, I'm dumb and I actually attack that one. I should just one-hit KO that, then we had it one-on-one -on -one over here. Instead, I just want to weaken both for some reason. I don't know why I forced him to heal. I'm not allowing him to capture those properties. I'm not allowing him to capture that property as well. Uh, but this is some bullshit over here. So I was like, ah, so frustrating. Uh, so I have to retreat. I still go for an attack over here because it's from a plane, I guess. I don't know. That was kind of dumb. And I attack from here. I do not cover over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, kind of a strange move. I, I think I was a little too overconfident with this tank attack over here. So I'm letting them get back into it. I'm getting a little too. The Deej confidence is, is getting too strong. I have a 5k income lead. Soon to be 4k. Okay, so it's only going to be a 3k income lead. But it's going to be significant. I'm going to have both of these and this and that. He's not going to have any of those things. So I'm feeling pretty good. Now he brings his artillery up there. And he brings his missiles back. He captures the base. Finally, day 11, I captured mine like day 5. It was nothing at all. It was so easy. He uses his side slip. Which is actually a smart move. Make sure he, he traps my artillery with his black boat. I didn't even notice he built a black boat until like later. I was like, why did you build a black boat? But he built a backboat, I think, to transport infantry from this over here to make sure he captures that. And also blocks me in. So he kills off one of my tanks. Attacks another tank. Captures the property over there. Attacks that, kills me off. He's got tank superiority now. And I was like, and a medium tank. So that early lead that I had, kind of getting wiped away. I literally thought I won. Honestly, if I think it was a, if I had one HP there, I think I just would have won that turn. But have income advantage, more tanks, well, like I literally would win. However, things are unfortunate sometimes, and you have to just deal with it. Kill off one infantry. I bring my missiles back over here. Uh, but uh, I want to tell you something about these missiles over here. I'm still a threat. I'm Jake. So if he builds a copter there. I'll just pop my power. I'll pop my power. I'll pop my superpower. Doesn't matter which one. I'm killing a copter or a bomber or whatever he chooses to build. So this thing is actually just as much of a threat here as it is on this plane. Whereas over here for Adder, it doesn't matter. If he's over here, I can put my copters as many times as I want. No fear. However, as Jake, you have that advantage. So Jake can build copters while you can airport lock your opponent. However, I'm losing in the middle. I got two banged up tanks and two full HP tanks versus four tanks of his, another one over here, and a medium tank coming up. But I have income advantage. I have a 3k income advantage. I should have more, but I haven't captured this property like he has over here because I devoted so much resources going to the middle and I devoted the early day one artillery, so I'm, I'm a bit delayed on capturing on the side over here. But hey, it's 1k. But my own medium tank, I'm happy to tech up, man. I got, I got the extra mun months. And I'm holding my power. Holding my power, not really concerned at all. Brings his, uh, his units in. Backs up a bit, as he should. You better back up, boy. You better back up. Boom, kill off the missiles. Now, free reign for my copters. My copters are gonna be popping off. Bring my medium tank in. And how am I gonna capture this property? How are you gonna stop that? I can put my artillery nearby and, uh, feeling super cocky. Super cocky. I'm telling you. Copters. I'm gonna have so many more units than he does. I am just living it up right now. I was pissed off at that roll, but I'm like, F it. I'm still gonna win. Who gives a shit? I'm gonna have so many more units than he does by virtue of just pumping out infantry. They might be a little weakened, but I can heal them up and I'll have more units than he does. And uh I dare him to. So he will get this property and he'll be able to catch up, so he'll only be behind 2k, which is not too bad. Uh, considering the situation he's in. 
pops another side slip. And this one got me worried a little bit. Brings that in. That's going to be a two hit KO for sure. But he doesn't have a tank to follow up an attack there, which is really nice. That would have been terrible. Medium tank comes streaming in. Artillery, infantry. Waiting for him just to attack that infantry, but I don't see it yet. I'm like, what? Why is he not attacking it? Why is he not attacking that infantry with anything? He lets me capture that property. I was like, what? Why didn't you attack me with that 8 HP infantry? You only killed like a 5 HP one over there. Like, that was so weird to me. He just let me have it. I was like, okay. Now I got a 4K income advantage. Now I got a 5K income advantage. Look at that, 2,400 to 1,900. That's pretty significant. A low income map like this. Not low income, medium income map. And I got copters, and he doesn't have a single air unit. So I'm gonna have more infantry, I'm gonna have more units, I'm gonna have more copters. Yeah, but the stats aren't looking too great because of that bullshit at the top. I do have more deaths than kills. Um, but, you know. And I bring my, I bring it back, I'm like, hey, you're not here? I don't even need to use the power anymore. I can just block you anyway, so. That part was nice. Now I'm gonna overload him over here with a Jake power. One's gonna attack, a two's gonna attack. I don't have to do double like that before. Just these two right there, that should be enough. And I can work on securing my own uh, city at the top. Beep beep. I don't wanna let him capture that property. I wanna lower down his uh, income as much as possible. I have a nice little little ball over here. I got an artillery defending things. I have a Jake power coming up. I got a big beefy medium tank. I got one, two, three, four, five tanks. Copters aren't quite in there yet. Six over here. He's got, he got more tanks. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tanks and the medium tanks. So he's got a one tank advantage, which is fine. But I have an artillery. I'm building another artillery. I can see this being Stolly. And it's actually being Stolly is in my advantage because I have the income lead. So I'm happy to pump out artillery. Uh, I got artillery and copters. Perfectly happy. Perfectly happy. That black was a little strange, but whatever. Kills off my recon. He was doing some cheeky shit because he, oh, he got lucky over here. So he did, he, he sacked uh, an infantry just to make sure that he could get a two hit KO, but it's still not gonna work in most scenarios. I swear the luck. Well, he take advantage though. I don't even remember if he had even attacked me on there though, but he's busting through. He's fighting into my artillery. I was like, whoa, he's attacking? But he's got some attacks. He's got some strong attacks. Does kill off, but he doesn't have anything to attack my medium tank, thank god. He's not even using a side slip, he's going in raw. He's going in raw, he's bringing his medium tank in to overload me. Hello, I have an artillery and my own medium tank, but he doesn't care, he's going in. With all his units, and air finally, because my copters are going in the middle right now. I got a lot of mun muns though. I got a lot of mun muns. He, he ran away wisely, now I can bust through that pipe seam in one turn. I use my block. block. I don't even hold on to it anymore because this is just doing whatever. So, bust open the uh, pipe seam. I guess you can't see it yet. Murder that medium tank. Murder that tank. But the thing is, if I attack the medium tank, my medium tank, I'm gonna get blasted by the artillery. So I need to kill the artillery. So I bring my medium tankies in. My copters in. The anti-air is nowhere near, thankfully. Medium tank blows that to smithereens. Kill off the infantry. Beer! Come down from hit from a plane. Does a lot of damage. Was happy with that. Build a neo tank. Now, how is he going to beat my neo tank? He doesn't have enough for a neo tank in his own turn. He can't afford a bomber. He can't build a bomber because I'll blow it away with my missiles. How will he kill my medium tank? And how will he kill my neo tank? He doesn't have any answers. He's got tank superiority, but like. Look at the stats, like, he, I still have more deaths than kills, but how is he going to kill those things? So he uses a side slip. I think he attacks into me. I was surprised by that. Just using his tank superiority to kill my tanks. Does a lot of damage, to be honest. He attacks my artillery, actually breaks through, kills off a tank. Breaks through, and I think he actually starts at capping that property over there. My own property over there. I was a bit concerned about that. He doesn't artillery because he needs to force me off over here again. And, uh, but he doesn't have anything for my beefy units. And I bust through there, so I'm going to get another income advantage. So now instead of 4k, I'm going to be at 5k, unless I allow him to cap that or cap this. So 
bring my artillery in, I bring my big beefy ne neo tank in, I start healing shit, because I got money, I can start healing. I got a bunch of weakened tanks. See that? Still got some use to it. Hitting from a plane, a one on a one, boom ba. You love to see it. Sack that, so I can bust through with my hopter to bust through and kill that uh, artillery. Don't quite kill. Have to interrupt that because I, I I work so hard for that income advantage. And guess what? I didn't even stay here because I didn't want him to go here and then I have to move. I wanted to make sure if you build a copter or something, I'll use I'll just pop my cop next turn. And I'll make sure his copter dies or his bomber or whatever the hell he chooses to build. And uh, another thing, these artillery are angry. They're going to start going over here. These infantry are going to start going over here. I'm going to start going for that property. I'm going to start going for the comm tower, etc. So he has no answers. Kills off my copter. Attacks with his infantry. Attacks with his tanks. Has a recon over there for some reason. I guess he couldn't afford a tank. Tank attacks my uh, infantry. Kind of a... He's, he's fighting into it, but like, he has nothing to kill my medium tank. There's nothing to kill my medium tank. He's killing the other tanks though, regardless, he's just ignoring my medium tank. He's killing off my tanks. I mean, he's doing a good job. I have four, 24 deaths to 13. I'm playing sloppy. I'm subway schlopping it up. I had the advantage early on. I still have the advantage in income. But look at this, he has 25 units to 20, even though I was able to pump out extra copters and the infantry from this property. I should have like a 10 unit advantage. But I'm playing careless with all my units. They're all dying. I have teched up units though. So I'm still alive, but my God, I'm doing my best to blunder this, to be perfectly honest. I'm doing my best to blunder and I'll lose another tank. And I'll lose another tank. 26 to 13, he has twice as many kills as deaths. And now I started to worry. He has so many units in the middle, he's gonna recapture that, he's gonna recapture that, he's gonna capture that. I have a medium tank, and a neo tank, and a copter. Well, at least that's gonna die. And then my copter will be okay, but like... It's not looking great in the middle. I mean, I'm happy for my position, but like, I'm doing my best to blow this. So... I actually don't go to cap this with a four, I actually want to go heal up, so it's not over yet. Um, I'm going to start putting some pressure on the side over there, one hit KO the anterior. Of course, another copter can do whatever the hell it wants. I opt to allow him to get that and rather kill a tank, which is smart anyway, it's just 1k. It's not going to make a huge difference. Start healing my units, start pumping out my tanks. And now I got this little, little gang of explorers over here. We're going to get that property, we're going to go for the calm tower with these two. Two artillery are pretty scary together, especially with an infantry wall. It's gonna be hard to stop that, especially if I have a cop coming or a scop coming. I'm just gonna chill here until he like finds a way to get me off. He's gotta build two copters or I'm gonna kill one. That's the only way he's gonna stop me at this point. Actually, no, he's got he's got his own little technique going on, as you'll see. He has a little ne mech sneak going on. So he finally has an idea. I thought he was just gonna build a copter and, and do that. And I guess the black boat's been doing work. Caught him this property early. And they brought a mech over here, so he's going to be able to stop me there, but... How is he going to stop my Neo tank? And how is he going to stop my Medium tank? He's got superiority in numbers. And he's only behind 4k. Well, not only behind 4k. 4k is quite significant in this scenario, and I don't see how he's going to... He's not going to capture that with the Neo tank there. And I don't think he's going to capture that with the Medium tank there. And I got Copter here, and I got a Copter here. And there's not a single Antair in sight. It's, he's going to have to build an Antair. It's going to take two, three turns to get over here. So these copters are gonna get free hits. He needs to go in all out retreats. But you can't really go in an all out retreat, right? Because if you all out retreat, then I'm just gonna have all these properties and probably get that one back. So even though he's got pretty damn good kill to death ratio, and even though he's gonna kill my missiles, I mean, my missiles is part of that income over here. So my income is a little bit artificially higher because this missile is alive and his is dead. But what is he gonna do with his army? He brings his tank back over there, brings his artillery, and then he resigns. Honestly, can't blame the guy. There's nothing to stop these units. Nothing to stop this, nothing to stop this, nothing to stop this, nothing to stop that, nothing. And I'm gonna have my superpower, and when I start pop that superpower, all this is getting obliterated. All this is gonna be taken over here. He's gonna get his copters finally, but I'm just gonna build an anti-air. And this is going over here as well. Don't forget this artillery is gonna be over there locking him again. So, honestly, I played sloppy at the end, but I'm so grateful. 
I didn't just do the, oh, Dead FS did this. Oh, Random Boys did that. Oh, Toulouse didn't do that. Who cares? Do your own thing. Do your own thing. If you can improve on something, hell, do it. Do the untested. Do the unthinkable. So that really saved me. The day one artillery. No one was expecting that. No one was expecting that. I want player two just in case, because if I want player one and didn't attack, then he would have known and done the same thing. So I had to let him be player one first, so he had no idea what I would be doing. And that allowed me to get full control of the center. My tanks, boom, 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 boom. I mean, I could have won here early. I got very unlucky. I could have definitely just won right on the spot. That would have just been a brutal takedown. However, got a little unlucky there, but it was the damage had been done. I had so many teched up units, I had a lot more units and there just couldn't be anything done. The missiles did a lot of work. He had to devote artillery over here, he had to devote a black boat, he had to devote a neck. So much devoted over here, so much devoted down here early on. Center was mine, baby. Everyone loves that sweet center. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet properties, right in this dead center. And they were all mine for the taking. Anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this. Next up, I'm facing Rhymer. Final four. Me versus Rhymer, standard. Tier two. It's gonna be tough. Winner goes on to face either Dead FS, Go7, Toulouse, or Random Ways. I don't know who they're gonna face, but those are some hard ass opponents. Now, Rhymer is a tough mother clucker. Rhymer's a tough mother clucker. He's very good in fog. I'd say he's better in fog than in standard. I think he's better in fog than me. And uh, he's. Oh, he's really good. I'm scared, to be honest, but I think I can beat him. If it was Fog, I think I would probably lose. But I think I can beat him in Standard. I'm gonna come with some DG magic. You better watch out. This is not gonna be a rolling over, uh, oh, DG intuition match. I do that in the Global Leagues, because who gives a shit? I lose some points, whatever, I don't care. But this is war. This is war! I'm motherfucking DG. That's right, I had this prop the whole time from Vietnam. Legit helmet right here. Legit Vietnam helmet. And I held, held that prop for this very video for some reason. I think it's because I forgot about it, to be honest. But we'll pretend it's because it's a special occasion. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Don't be afraid to stray away from what the, uh, the strong players do sometimes. And you might find your own unique stuff. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.